Well, I'm Charlie Johnson, Director of Sales and Marketing for the Maverick Hughes and Pathfinder Brands and Boats. And I'm standing in front of our new 21 Hughes Redfisher. This boat we had brought out a long time ago and it had a, a great following. We took a little break with it and we just brought out a brand new one, fully vacuum infused, boat designed to go catch bait in one zip code and fish in another and get back to the dock all before tournament weigh-in. Just an exceptional vessel. If you'll spend a couple minutes with me, we'll walk through the whole thing. The first thing you'll notice about this boat is just how exceptional the hull is. First off, really sharp forward entry, so it really slices the waves well. This boat is designed to run big open water very fast. Um, that doesn't mean you have to run fast, and it runs great slow too, but it, certainly if you want to cover a lot of water quickly, you can do it in this boat. But sharp forward entry, big bow flare here as you see, so it cuts those waves down and then push them out and throws them far out to the side so it keeps very, very dry. You see, it brings the chine back here. That also helps a lot with keeping the occupants dry. Great big hull, but still floats in, you know, legitimately like 14 inches of water or something like that. All right, and then we'll come all the way back to the back end of the boat and get up on the deck. Starting at the bow, you can't help but notice this huge bow casting area. You could fit three people up here, fish no problem. The boat comes standard with twirling motor wiring for a 36 volt system. You got plates in the deck that are laminated into the deck there that all you have to do is drill and tap those plates. To go ahead and secure that twirling motor down. Run the twirling motor wire right through here. It goes into your twirling motor plug, which is right in here. In the dedicated anchor locker. Tons of room for an anchor in there. I mean, you know, now with power poles and all that kind of stuff, you don't use an anchor as much as you need to, but it's a necessary evil, no doubt about it, because it's just a great safety feature to have in a boat. This will occupy a big anchor and tons of road and chain. All right, closing that, put that latch down here, come back here. Once again, notice how big this whole deck is into this huge storage compartment right here. Double latch, locking latches, gas shock assisted. See how easily that came up, despite it being such a big, large lid here, so it gives you a huge opening. Big lid troughs, so it stays really nice and dry. You have the gaskets in here that when those latches go down, it closes everything and secures that lid very well. All the hinges are, are back nutted. Not only are they back nutted there, that's almost a, just a redundancy. Those, those screws are put through a metal or a backing plate material, phenolic material that's integrated into each one of these lids. So secured that way and then back nutted for, for um, double strength there. Great storage space right there. All right, put those down. Once again, like I said, those are lockable. Tons of storage here. This, this step right here is easy to navigate, not too high at all. Okay, now we're into the huge cockpit area. Um, what first thing to note, under gunnel rod storage, okay? So you can do those fly rods, that kind of stuff. That goes all the way forward. You got tube protection up forward. So nine foot fly rods, no problem under there. If you have spinning rods, um, even big reels, these gunnels are wide enough so that they really hide those rods, get them way up underneath the gunnels and really protect them very well so you're not gonna kick them or step on them as you go by. Speaking of under gunnels, you see they're lighted. So we have the blue interior lighting there. Also, not only did I talk about how wide they are, which benefits in the rod storage, but also you can see how wide they are for walking around the boat, which is really a nice aspect of this boat. One of the things that people like about this boat, as opposed to say a bay boat and the same foot length, is that it's a lot easier to get around a skiff like this if you're comfortable walking around the gunnels because you can walk around people outboard of the cockpit, which is not something you can do on a bay boat because those gunnels are too small. Also the boat, because it's really nice and wide, is very, very stable. You're not gonna pitch around a lot. If you have somebody that's fighting a big fish that runs to the back of the boat or runs on the boat, you can run right down the gunnels right there with them. So nice and wide enough uh, to be able to do that. And because the boat's so stable, you're not gonna lose your balance in most conditions like that. All right, moving back on the console here, cooler that comes standard with the boat. Also have the nice cushion backrest here, the double stitch stitching with the upholstery there with the chevron um, stitching in it. You have rod racks on either side of the console. Also, you have the optional uh, battery charger. 
Um, like I said, the boat comes standard with 36 volt trolling motor wiring in it. So your, your battery charger is typically gonna be a four bank charger, or you can go with the power pole management system, which is a really nice feature. Now this particular boat has that. Moving further back here, the console, you can get the over the console grab rail option and windshield. Okay, which is a nice feature. Otherwise, you just have the grab rails here and no windshield. This is a nice touch though. And this console is new um, across the whole Hughes lineup. Um, it was originally put in this boat and we, it looked so nice and people liked it so much, we migrated it over to the whole Hughes lineup. But what's really nice about it is a big dash allows you to flush mount up to 12 inch electronics on it. Um, which is really nice. You have your standard compass. It's big enough so that it really um, can keep you out of the elements. You can hide behind it if it's raining or cold or that sort of stuff, um, but it's not so big that it takes up too much room. Another nice feature that's pretty innovative on these um, new shoes are how we do the cushions and the backrest setup. These cushions are actually on plugs and they plug into the deck. So you don't have that flap that folds down here. Um, so are the snaps you have to deal with, or even that track system that's down here that will cut the back of your leg or cuts the vinyl um, on the hitch, hinge, I mean the cushions when you slide them in and out. So this is a really nice setup. They stick to the lid like that with that plug system. They raise and lower with the lid like that. You can then take them off of the lid when you want to store them and you're left with just the clean deck. So that's a great, set up not only do you have storage under this seat right here but you have independent storage under here as well so you have a huge storage box up under this cushion and backrest right here you can see that this goes all the way across it's not partitioned so huge amount of room but once again you can see just the high quality finish the, the back nutting the the gas shocks the quality um, finish underneath that's is primary finish just like it is on the top side of the lid underside the lid the big lid troughs to keep everything dry all right closing that up so as i mentioned before this boat is really designed to, to catch bait in one zip code and fish in another and um, one aspect of that is is this giant centerline live well right here um, huge live well set up great big opening really easy to get in and out of really easy to get bait in um, this thing is really deep i can't remember the exact capacity off the top of my head but it's big enough where it's not even a, a concern about how much capacity you have you can also do a secondary well as well if you want if you need more well space than that which um, not many people will but if you need a second well set up you can do a release well on the side right here um, also, you can use that as more storage. So the amount of storage this boat has is absolutely obscene. Like I said, there's no possible way um, you're going to be able to fill it all with just um, the tackle um, you have in your, in your tackle storage room or in your garage. So on any boat that's, let's say, 21 feet or less, um, space is always a premium and it's hard to situate everything. So you have a lot of usable space, but then still great access. But this boat, absolutely has um, all that in, in terms of usable space and access. This is a huge hatch that gets back to your storage box in here, I mean, um, build storage area. And so I have all my, my uh, valves here, my seacocks for all my drains right here that I can cut off very easily, keep any water out if for whatever reason I have an, a, a breach in one of those hoses. Also have ac direct access right to my live well pumps and my builds pump. I'm looking at them all right here and right through the hole in this opening. So they're very easy to access. So that's a very important aspect of any, any boat. Um, really hard to pull off on smaller boats and they've done an excellent job with that here. Finally, to the back end of the boat, we offer this boat for max horsepower all the way up to a 350. Uh, more often than not, most people are gonna be either putting the, the VF250 show, um, Yamaha on this boat, or the 300. Um, both those engines are perfectly suited the boat. Uh, very, very fast. Uh, like I said, um, the boat is all vacuum infused, so it's very stiff, very strong, but light too for its size. 
and these engines, um, either that 300 show, I mean F300 or 250 show, really push it along at a, a really great clip. I would look at the performance bulletins if I were you to see which one works best for you, but I assure you um, that no matter how much speed you like, you're gonna be pretty well covered with either one of those engines. Um, dual power poles off the standard jack plate, very, very common these days, um, but that is an option as well. So if you're in South Florida and you want a boat, an old flats boat with a great name that's really well known, South Florida originated right here in Miami, that is huge, you need to look at the 21 Red Fisher. Excellent fishing platform for covering a lot of water very quickly, taking a bunch of bait with you and doing a very lot of versatile things um, in the kind of fishing conditions, shallow fishing conditions you have in this area. Make sure to stop by Bob Hughes Boats and check one out.